Ontario is home to 4,000 dairy farms that produce some of the safest and highest quality milk in the world. However, about a quarter of these herds contain at least one cow that is infected with Yoni's disease. Yoni's is a bacterial intestinal infection that affects dairy cows worldwide. It can't be cured, but it's easy and inexpensive to control. The maternity area is important for the spread of Yoni's disease because when a calf is born, they do not receive any immunity from their mother through the womb, much like people would. All of their immunity comes from colostrum. Their very first meal of milk has all their antibodies from their mother and the gut is open waiting for all those antibodies to absorb into their bloodstream. If that milk is contaminated with either Yoni's or E. coli, those things can also get into the bloodstream and set it up for further problems with infection later in life. It can take years for infected cows to show signs of Yoni's disease. That's why it's important to start protecting calves as soon as they're born, especially when Yoni's infected cows are found in the herd. One of the recommendations that we've implemented or suggested is to go with some sort of housing unit where you can separate the calf from being able to suck the dam, but allow the dam to still have interaction with the calf. So something like a, a low gate in the corner of the pen where the mother can still lean over and lick the calf and mother the calf, but the only colostrum that the calf is going to get is delivered by the farmer. After completing the ramp, we no longer pool colostrum. If we used to have multiple fresh cows at the same time, we'd milk them together because we were all about volume of colostrum to the calf, making sure they got lots. And now we're more about uh, making sure it's from the dam in case anybody comes up positive in the future. We know that we didn't spread it at that level. As Yoni's awareness escalates, more and more Ontario dairy producers are testing their herds and using the ramp strategies to improve prevention. And with continued participation, producers can expect to see improvements in overall calf health and herd biosecurity. From the University of Guelph, I'm Megan Cowie, reporting for Spark Air.